The next step is to remove the uh, resonator from your cryostat body, okay? And so already I have disconnected the resonator waveguide, flexi waveguide from the uh, Q-band bridge connector, okay? And then you'll also want to loosen this guy, this little clamp thingy. Once you loosen it, this will drop away, okay? As you can see here, we got the, the accordion-like uh, ballast that um, allows for uh, it to flex whenever there's a high or low gas pressure inside the cryostat. But once you do that and you uh, loosen all the uh, stabilizing um, uh, screws that hold this resonator tightly onto the mount, you can then carefully pull your resonator out. All right, and don't forget, of course, set that down over here gently. Don't forget, of course, to grab this little O-ring. Okay, that O-ring, you don't want to lose it. And you certainly don't want to donate it to Cold Edge whenever you ship it off to them because it might not come home. All right, so I also have one of these, uh, one of these little seals just to keep the dust out. Although if you ever look inside this thing, it's quite dirty. I'm sure you'll notice. All right, so from there, we will start to loosen the hardware that is mounting the uh, cryostat in place. Actually, the very first thing I'll want to do is I'll want to disconnect this hose here. We have a hose arrangement like this. Yours might be a little different, but basically this is where the not as clean helium goes into the system as a transfer gas. Um, and so, you know, this is one of those connectors where you push up and then pull the hose out. So that's that. Basically, it's connected to these, these valves here. And there's another hose that goes to the back you got to reach around the back and disconnect that hose as well. I'll reach around and do that now so you can see. <clears throat> this hose is in the very back of the uh, cryostat right here. This hose comes in here from the front. You can just push that little thing in and pull the hose out and you're good to go.